Hi there, and uh, welcome to MS DOS Game Reviews, where I record videos of me playing some pretty ancient games made for MS DOS, so like the first personal computers. First com personal computers ever was running Microsoft Disk Operating System. We are in 1987, and the game we're looking at today is called Arctic Fox. So, uh, it's a simulation game. You can grab a copy of it from myabandonway.com. It's only 141 kilobytes big. There's a little description of what the game is about. Some screenshots, you can see there's some screenshots that have a little bit more color and a little bit less color. And uh, the more color is the Tandy version, which is uh, what we'll play today. And then there's a CGA version, which uh, looks a little bit more muted. There's some comments and reviews, and this is the important one here. So, uh, it lays out the weapons, how to how to drive the thing. So, uh, righty, let us go check it out. So, Arctic Fox and... Kick it. So, straight off the bat, you can select your computer. You have an IBM PC80 or a Tandy 1000. So, uh, I'm emulating in the Tandy 1000 and I'm going to press 2. Created by Dynamics. And it looks pretty. So, I'm just going to leave it. So, it says Enemy Preview Training Mode, Beginner Mode, Tournament Mode. And if you just leave it like now, it does an enemy preview and shows you the various tanks, what they're good at, what what's happening, that sort of thing. So heavy tank, and then there is a light tank. So as you can see, it's using wire drawn graphics, sort of a three D three D world. It's a little bit uh, reminiscent of Battle Zone. Um, they're just more involved. So, more colors, obviously meant for a more powerful machine. Uh, Battlezone, for instance, was, uh, <clears throat> wasn't even made for the IBM uh, PC. It was made for an older machine and ported to the IBM PC. So, uh, here we go. You can already see uh, the graphics are getting be better. Even though this is a Tandy mode, it's a fairly high resolution 16 color mode. And yeah, it's uh, pretty. So you can see all the various things you can have a go at. And uh, let us see what the game itself is like. So I'm gonna um, press F2 for a training mode. And there we are. People are already shooting at me, and I'm shooting back, uh, shooting with space bar. Uh, you can drive with the cursor keys, even though um, they. Oh, that's our heavy tank, right? Oh, and okay, gotcha. And then you can drive backwards. And there is a way of... Oh! Aha! I knew you were there. So... Apparently... Okay, so... Shooting... Okay, let's see if... Q allows you to... To raise your turret. And now, I can shoot up in the sky. Oh, Q again. Q. I'm getting creamed here. Creamed. Okay. Somebody is shooting at me. Wow, okay. It's pretty intense gameplay, man. There are people everywhere, and everybody's shooting me. Game over. 
Wow. Okay, so uh, training mode. I've used 28 shells, no mines, no missiles. And I've shot down two recon slates, two light slates, two heavy tanks. And my Arctic Fox was destroyed, and my tactical rating is pretty, pretty full. So that is Arctic Fox. I'm, uh, I mean, I can play again and again, and I'm sure as I get better and get more used to the, the controls, uh, it turns into a much, much more involved, bigger game. There, there's a nice map you can drive around in. So, uh, yeah, if, uh, if this is your type of game, if you like this sort of thing, ancient uh, tank simulations, this game looks pretty good. Uh, so, I hope you guys liked this little video, and uh, we'll see each other on the next one. If you subscribe, you'll get a notification, of course. In any case, in the meantime, have a fantastic day, and goodbye.